Well, Ben, we have been getting so many emails from viewers about the DMV and the different services that are being offered and not being offered. In fact, Lori wrote to us saying, my husband dropped off paperwork for new registration in Waterbury back in early May, have not received or heard anything back, been going on three weeks. Any help would be appreciated. Well, I asked the deputy DMV commissioner, Tony Guerrera, about this, and here's what he had to say. First and foremost, as we get these uh, new registrations or registration renewals through the Dropbox, what we are doing now, we're starting to implement more employees that are coming back to the DMV and we are tackling this backlog. So I would say probably within the next seven to 10 days, you're gonna see more and more employees coming back to work, tackling that backlog, and hopefully we'll narrow that down from three to two to one week. Yeah, so hopefully, Lori, you'll be able to get some answers there. This question we've been getting every week. A viewer wrote, when is the governor going to open up the Department of Motor Vehicles? We know there are certain services that can only be done in person. So I asked the deputy commissioner if he had any update for us. That's an important question. I know that people are getting anxious about that. But also, we have to think about how we're going to you know, restructure ourselves as a DMV in regards to this whole pandemic that we've been through. So it's given us an opportunity to really start to modernize our computer systems, to do more things online, so people don't have to come in. Um, we will start opening different branches throughout the state of Connecticut here, and we'll start implementing more services. But again, we have to have the capability that not to use 50% of our space in our buildings. That's enough to keep social distancing for people to make sure that they're six feet away from each other. So no date for that reopening just yet, but we will continue to keep you updated and keep asking those questions for you. Now, if you do have a question for us, just record yourself asking it and email that video to share61 at fox61.com and we will work to get you answers. You can also go to fox61.com slash answers to see the questions we've gotten to already. Ben, back to you.